Hey guys, I just wanted to show you one of the new projects I was working on. I'm going to turn around my phone here and then show you guys what's going on. Alright, so I built a new PC inside of an original Xbox. Um, as you can see, I or maybe you can see, I turn, the, turn it on with the button here right above the original reset and power button. It's just a button taken from an old PC case and then attached normally to the two pins on the motherboard. Um, the optical drive did not fit because the video card was a bit too high, or too tall I should say. So the optical drive was unable to fit. Um, and of course you can see all the parts I used on my blog which will be down in the description below. Um, so then we'll move around to the back here. And sorry for covering the camera there. And you can see just a normal PC back panel, VGA cable mounted to the top, and then there's also a DVI cable or a port right down there so that I can run dual monitors, sound LAN, a um, couple USB 3.0 ports, some USB 2.0, um, eSATA, and then the onboard VGA and DVI cables. Um, and you can see we're running Windows 7 here. Um, I'm also the video card inside is the Radon 6570, which, believe it or not, can run Battlefield 3 at 40 frames on medium. I'll show you guys the overall Windows experience score here. We have a 4.4, which, as you can see, the processor is at 6.4, the memory is 7.5, the graphics 6.7, and that 4.4 comes in because I'm using a nasty old hard drive. If I would upgrade it to even a newer hard drive or hopefully an SSD, this computer would be actually quite amazing, and especially for the price of only, I believe, $260 I paid. So anyway, that's that. Everything fits inside the Xbox case. All the screws are back in and it is pretty well completed. So once again, check out the, the full description down in the, down in the link to my blog below. And I hope you guys can uh, hopefully try this out for yourself because it's not very expensive. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.